This is how Albert White Hat translated that word. When a person greets a relative with a relative term, that, that is wacheke. When a person makes a request from a relative with a relative term or addresses any creation with need, that is wacheke. When a group does these things, then it is wacheke. Christians wanted a Lakota word for prayer. They explained prayer as when our, one needs help or if one wants to give thanks to God, a higher power that is above all creation. The Lakota explained to the missionaries that we have a similar practice. However, our prayers are to, are to creations on earth and in the universe. The word to describe how we work with creation is wacheke to acknowledge relatives. Unfortunately, the missionaries translated Wachekie simply as she or he is praying and Wachekie as they are praying without teaching the Lakota philosophy contained in these two words. More examples from the new Lakota dictionary done by the Czech hobby Sian Ulrich. We nuchtala, old woman. We chachtala, old man. Again from Albert Whitehat, we chachtala, we nuchtala. Sometimes law, a term of endearment, is added at the end of either we nuchta or we chachta to express love or respect. Not long ago, we chachtala, a precious real man who has achieved wisdom, and we nuchtala, a precious real woman who has achieved wisdom, were used to address elders who had honored the people by living by the Lakota philosophy and spirituality. A second mistranslation occurred when educational institutions and Christians came onto the reservations to acculturate and assimilate the Lakota to their values. When English slang for husband and wife became old man and old woman, the Lakota words we chachtala and we nuchtala took on the same implications. Now, if out of respect you call a man we chachtala or a woman we nuchtala, they will get mad thinking you are calling them an old man or an old woman. Another example from the New Lakota Dictionary, Wamakashka, animal. Albert Whitehat, Wamakashka is often mistranslated as animals. The word means living beings on the earth and it includes the Ikjewichash, Oyate, the human nation. When creation was completed, all living beings on earth were called Wamakashka Oyate, Oyate, nation. It doesn't have political implications like English nation. It refers to beings that are alike. They have a spirit, a life, a mind, and, and a language in the same way as the Ikjewichash Oyate. Animal is a poor translation because it distinguishes between humans and the rest of creation. It creates a hierarchy, an assumption that contradicts the Lakota belief system. In Lakota, we are related to all creation. We are all part of the Wamakashka Oyate. Consequently, we are all equally important. If anything, I as a man must practice humility toward the rest of creation. Can you see the difference between texts? and translation by missionaries, appropriators, hobbyists, and non-Lakotas versus first language Lakota speakers are translated. This is one example of how linguistics perpetuates systemic racism in an indigenous language. Valuing literacy and literature, no matter how flawed, over the very speakers of that language. In effect, dismissing and marginalizing that very community.